This is Vigor, a game you're probably already familiar with. Vigor is a post-apocalyptic looter shooter based in the beautiful landscapes of Norway. Not a new game, but it did just turn into a free-to-play game just about a week ago. I wanted to play this game ever since I first saw its release on YouTube. For some reason I never really got into it and ended up never playing it. Just until about a couple of days ago. I saw it pop up on Steam and the first thing that stuck out to me was the reviews it got. Mostly negative. I didn't want to jump on the negative review train before even trying out the game of course. Although I couldn't understand how such a nice looking game could be so underrated. How? How? I don't know! So I decided to give it a go and finally play and see for myself. Are these negative reviews really legit? Is this game that I've been waiting for for so long really this bad? I mean it is a free to play game after all and after putting a decent amount of hours into it I can say it surely isn't perfect and it does need some work in certain areas like any other game really. Graphics are quite nice, it reminds me of the Battlefield Battle Royale, maps are quite pretty looking and a decent TTK or time to kill. It isn't super realistic but it isn't fully arcade-ish either. One thing I want to add though is that the weapons might feel a little bit clunky and stiff. And there really are no attachments for a weapon so the game can feel a little bit bare bones but other than that it's alright for a free to play. The other thing I want to make clear is that this game should have been a free to play game from the beginning. And I do not appreciate all the in-game microtransactions and the amount of cosmetics. Sure it's 2024 but I really love the good old days of gaming where all the focus was on the game itself and not on who had the nicest cosmetics. No point in crying over spilled milk though. I'd say this game is definitely worth it. I really enjoyed it and I will keep doing so until I at least have built this really cozy looking house. Yup, that is my house. And you get to build it up by collecting materials and I really want to see the finished build of it. Give it a try if you haven't already since there is absolutely nothing you can lose now that the game is free to play other than your time of course. Also let me know if I miss something down below. Enjoy! Drop a like and feel free to drop some knowledge on me since I'm still new to the game and still learning. And that's about it. See ya. You know what? The game is not half as bad as the reviews say it is. Yeah, some flaws, but it, it's still enjoyable. I mean, remember, it's a free to play game. Not really sure if you have tried it on PC yet, but if you did, what do you think about it? Alright, so one of the easiest way to detect movement is to stand still and recon. You know, the human eye can actually detect movement really well. So uh, use that to your advantage. Why is it so quiet? I'm playing solos versus trios. Shouldn't there be more action? One of the things that could be added to the flaws of this game. Can't really jump over simple stuff. Classic invisible wall there. Not game breaking by any means, but maybe just annoying. Alright, finally something going down. Also, you might have noticed me running on the edge of the map. Well, it really helps with not getting ambushed since your back is against the wall at all times. They can basically come from just one direction, sort of. No, I never really use all these advantages laid across the map. Things like this disrupted tower. Let's see, what does it do? All the players in this range have their map markers hidden. So I think that means they can't see their own location on the map. Not really sure if you heard that sound a second ago. That is actually small trolls. And no, I do not mean player trolls, you know, like on the internet. As some of you may know, Norway has its stories about trolls. So the game had these small troll collectibles you can find around the maps. Kind of realized that after the fact. You know, I have a small problem. Even though after playing this game for hours, I have zero clue on how to use consumables, bandages and healing items. I always destroy them by accident, so if you know how to do that, why don't you let me know down below. Now, let's get this safe open, shall we? Seems like this is gonna take 3-5 to five business days apparently. A few moments later. Alright, finally. Let's see what kind of treasures these safes hold. Oh my god, that's kind of a lot. Alright, so these cassettes are also some kind of collectibles, if I'm not mistaken. 
You can listen to them on a tape that you have at home. I really enjoy these collectible thingies. Reminds me of the good old Tomb Raider and Uncharted games. I always felt so proud showing off my collection of artifacts and ancient treasures. Alright, so lots of crafting parts. Big part of this game apparently. Let's just make sure everything is locked and loaded. You know, just in case. Because I have a feeling something is about to go down. Alright, I did actually hear some footsteps around here. Oh, is that a guy? Oh, that's definitely somebody. Not really sure he's alone or anything. But we gotta take the shot. Oh, one shot. Come on. Where are those bullets going? Maybe that's uh maybe that's just my aim. Usually is, but you know, you gotta have at least some excuses for missing. Hopefully this guy is alone because if this is a trio then I'm pretty much screwed But let's see how this goes, right? So I think this game mode was uh, solos versus trios So there could be duos as well And uh, I'm all alone Where is this guy? I'm assuming he might be alone since he seems very scared I mean I would if somebody was shooting at me Obviously. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I think he might be alone. Is this guy actually flanking me? Where are you, buddy? Oh, there he is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God. I just, uh... Take his loot. Maybe just check your surroundings before doing the mistakes I do. I'll just jump into the looting immediately and we got this airdrop so uh, sounds can be a little bit uh, deceiving now let's see let's see just take anything and everything never really know what to loot oh what All right I'm not sure if that's his oh oh my god that guy was so freaking sneaky thank god I heard that door I mean the sounds in this game are so clear, so uh, it's actually kind of hard to sneak up on somebody. Although I myself always manage to. I'm, I'm not really sure. Maybe some people just play without headsets. You know, that, that could be it. And these guys had a lot of loot. I'm not really sure if this was his his body or something. But nonetheless, we did, we did quite good. Kind of Kind of proud of myself. Should I say so? Let's see, just uh, pick up any and everything. You know, I never really know what to do with at least half of the items I pick up. I'm uh, just simple like that. See rare items and I take it. Kind of the shiny item syndrome. Just want it because it's shiny. Alright, so I was just about to make my way to the extraction point. But there was actually an airdrop that dropped earlier, so... Might just check it out since it actually seems to be very close by. Alright, it should be somewhere around here. Hopefully, hopefully this goes our way. 